So I said that this wasn't going to be a graphic design course, but I can't help myself. How do I change or how do I make a nice color scheme for my web page? I got it. I have it. I have a confession to make. I'm not actually, you know, the most graphically inclined person. I'm not actually that good at graphic design. Um, I just tend to try, try to keep things as simple as possible so I don't screw things up. Um, and colors, colors are something that can really screw you up. Okay. Um, so. So I use, I have to say, I have to admit, I actually use, I cheat a little bit when it comes to developing color schemes. Um, I use, there's a ton of really cool free tools on the net that I, I end up using. One of those tools is called Color Explorer, colorexplorer.com. This is a great tool and I'll show you. One of the reasons I really like using it is I can use this tool called Image Color Import right here. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to upload a file, any image file, and Color Explorer will will extract from that a palette of colors and, and it can be, you know, a palette of three colors or a palette of 10 colors or a palette of whatever you need. Okay. A palette of colors that you can then use, um, on your website and, you know, you can generally be guaranteed that it's going to look good because it matches or it's complementary to the photo that you're using. And in this case, because I've got a very simple page, I've, I've uploaded, I've got this image right here, and I just sort of want everything to kind of go with this. I want everything. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but I want it to be, you know, complementary. And that's that's how I, I chose these colors. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's actually go, and I'm on image color import. I'm going to choose a file. I'm just going to go straight into my images folder. This is the images folder inside my coming soon folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and select that concert image that I have right here. I'm going to click open or OK. And I'm going to click upload image. And so now it's going to upload this. Color Explorer is going to do its magic. And look what it did. It just generated these 10 colors that, you know, I would never have been able to pick these colors on my own. I'm just not that talented. Um, that's really handy. Um, and in fact, if you wanted more colors, you could actually select down here under analysis options. You could extract 50 colors if you wanted to, or you could just, if you want to keep things really simple, just extract three colors. I'm not going to bother. I'm happy with these 10 colors. This is going to give me, I'm only using a couple colors here, but this will give me a lot of options for the future if I want. Um, how do I go about saving these colors? Because presumably I don't want to have to keep coming back to this website, right? Okay, so this is how you do it. I'm going to click on, I'm going to start by clicking save in my palettes. Okay, it says that it's been saved. Let's just make absolutely sure. I'm going to click on saved palettes right here. There we go. So it shows up here and it says image import 10 colors. That's great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this just on the gray part and I'm just going to go export as a PNG file. Let's go ahead and do that. Export as a PNG file. And just for good measure, let's actually export as a text file as well. I'm going to show you the difference between these two, okay? So now I'm going to just minimize that. And let's take a look at our downloads folder and see what we have here. We've got two files in here. Let's take a look at the text file first. And I'm just going to go ahead and open that text file in Text Wrangler while we're at it. And here we have a bunch of numbers. So what do these numbers mean? These are hexadecimal values. And do you remember when we were actually, when I was putting things in here and I said color and background color, I was just typing out red and green. Well, it turns out that using the word red or the word green, that's actually kind of limiting because there's really only, I think, a handful of colors. I want to say 16 or 17. I could be wrong there. But there's really just a handful of n colors that you can identify in CSS using their color name. Um, and, and that makes sense, right? I mean, because really there's a ton of different colors in the world. There's millions of colors and we want some way of being able to identify those each of those colors with some level of accuracy. And so the way that we do that in, you know, in, in computer language is we assign them different codes. And I'm not going to go into the detail of what this code means, although I might I might in a different screencast. That might be an interesting screencast to cover. Um, but really this is a hexadecimal code that refers to a specific color. But the problem with this is a nice text file and I can actually cut and paste these. But the problem with this is I, I have no way of knowing because I'm not a computer. I have no way of knowing which one of these numbers, these codes refers to what color. And that's why I actually started by uh, let's take a look at my downloads folder again. Instead, I actually did an image export at a PNG. And what that did is it generated this swatch. OK, and you'll see here, ah, this is starting to look familiar. Let's go ahead and close that. See this? This is actually, oh, let's actually resize this here. This is actually, um, now you can see how each of these hexadecimal codes actually corresponds to a specific color. And in fact, they also give you the RGB value, which is another way of, of 
sort of dig digitally representing colors in, in computerese, if you will. Um, we're just going to concern ourselves with the hexadecimal numbers here. And so there we go. We've got sort of the key here. And this is probably the most important thing. It's just that this makes it easy. You can actually cut and paste this. And you do need to cut and paste, including the hashtag at the beginning there. Uh, if you wanted to make, if you were doing a lot of work, you could actually kind of create a little like color reference file for yourself by actually writing down that this is, you know, yellow and this is orange and this is, you know, a light uh, light pink. You wouldn't actually be using these names. This is just kind of a reminder to yourself and this would be a dark pink and so on and so forth. Um, but for the purpose, because we're not actually doing a whole heck of a lot of customization, for the purpose of this we can just keep our little, for uh, the next few screencasts, we can just keep our little swatch open here and we're just gonna gonna reference the, the hexadecimal numbers right inside there. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you found that useful and that you'll be able to, um, at some point, use tools. And by the way, Color Explorer is not the only tool out there. There are lots of other tools like that. I just use that as a, as a quick example. Um, but you know, don't be afraid to search out, seek out, and find those tools to help you be a better graphic designer, um, because there's lots of ways that you can make life simpler for yourself. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.